Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking into the disappearance of Helen Ann Morgan. She went missing May 13th, 1984 from Barnesville, Georgia. She was 26 years old. 5'7 to 5'9, 114 to 120 pounds. Um, it says it was a Sunday and she allegedly received a telephone call around 7 p.m. on a Sunday in 1984, which lasted between four and six minutes. The call may have been related to her work at the National Cash Register Company, Lafayetteville, Georgia, in the computer center. Another call came at around 10 p.m. at night from what sounded work-related. Upon hanging up, she told her mother that she had to go to work to straighten out a problem with the computer. That was the last time her mother saw her. She changed her clothes and left the residence. Her mother did not see what she was wearing when she left. Um, Wednesday, May 16, 1984, a vehicle belonging to Helen Ann Morgan was discovered at Atlanta Hartsville International Airport, apparently abandoned in the South Terminal parking lot. Morgan had been reported missing on May 14, 1984, from Lamar County, Georgia. Her mother last saw her on Sunday, May 13th, Mother's Day. During the investigation, Morgan was described as being a very conscientious person with a great deal of ambition and not the type to leave without notifying anyone. Morgan occasionally visited a bar called Frady's in Peachtree City with her friends, but was not the type of person to be picked up by anyone at a bar. Prior to Morgan's disappearance, Morgan did not seem upset, nor had she made any indication that she was making plans to travel. Since her disappearance, no purchases or any activity has been noted on any of her financial accounts. Brown hair, blue eyes, hazel blue eyes. And... There's a picture of her there, and here's another picture. Beautiful, tiny woman. And so looking, if you have any information about what might have happened to her, please contact authorities and let them know. Even if you feel like it's hearsay, you're not sure if it's relevant, you're not sure if it's true, give them that information and let them decide what's important. Um... And then looking at some Jane Doe's, I really didn't see anybody, but there's this person in Alabama found in October of 1984, age 21 to 40 years old, about 5 foot 6 to 5 foot 7. She was probably about 5 foot 8, so. Remains were found of a badly decomposed white female approximately 30 feet from the highway. 30 feet from Highway 5. And I don't know which way Highway 5 goes or if it goes through Georgia and, and Alabama or not. Okay, and then we have um, a female found in Union City, Georgia. Uh, age 16 to 30 years, estimated PMI, about 5 foot 8, 140 pounds. I don't know how many years is years. Found by a road crew about 15 feet from a gravel road in a wooded area. And I didn't check to see how far Union City, Georgia is from Barnesville, Georgia. It says she had a mother's ring containing a blue, pink, and red clear stones. Which makes you think she was... It makes you think she was a parent and had, you know... Three children with their birth dates that would have those stones, blue, pink, and red, right? And then this Jane Doe reminded me of her somewhat when I saw her. Even though th she went missing May 13th and this Jane Doe was found May 10th in Cobb County, Georgia. And she was five foot eight around there and this Jane Doe is only about five foot tall to five foot four and then this another Jane Doe also kind of reminds me see they, they kind of look similar and this is also Cobb County Georgia so 
1984. I just wondered if I just saw the similar looks to these Jane Doe's, and I thought, wow, they look similar, even though it is 1984 to 1993, nine years later. And this female was about five foot tall to five foot four, and this one was five foot three. So I was looking at these Jane Doe's that reminded me of her, and I was wondering who they could be, which I have no idea, but I thought I would look at some missing persons as well. Unknown, but she wore a reddish colored wig. The victim had reconstructive surgery on her right eye with a plastic orbital plate and an olfactory to the left ankle with a metal pin and a metal plate in the left shoe, suggesting a special shoe. So you would think somebody would know who that was. Homicide. Very tiny, 105 to 115. The remains were recovered with a brown corduroy jacket and a men's shirt, George embroidered on the pocket. Victim wore western boots with thick fleece-like lining, blue short sleeve pullover shirt with a Playboy bunny size, large western style ruffle, long sleeve blouse, and blue jeans. And they have pictures of the clothes. And this Jane Doe, Marietta, Cobb County, Georgia, June 25th, 1993, 5 foot 3, 100 pounds, very tiny. Hip length, short sleeve jacket, white halter top scarf with orange pink diamond print design, lightweight blousey, elastic waistband slacks, 24 inch long strand of white beads with imprint blue flowers separated by gold color metal beads and multicolored bead earrings. Safety pin and slacks. The skeletal remains were discovered at a construction site on Schlegret Road. And now I'm going to look at some people that were missing. I don't think I went. I didn't look around 1993. Um... Because it says estimated date of death unknown. And so I was looking more in the 1980s. Probably should have looked later, right? So we have this girl, and she was only 14, and she went missing in 1982. So she would have only been 16 around the time. 15. So she would have been too young. Um, brown hair, blue eyes, Christine, she went missing from Orlando, Florida, dental work, mother of a newborn son was last seen walking on Robin Street in Orlando, Florida, she was known to frequent South Orange Blossom Trail and South Street in Orlando, she was rumored to have last been seen in 1983. She was known to associate with prostitutes and strippers. She had been seen with labor pool workers and was rumored to have gone to Tennessee with a gas station attendant. Her family lives in Missouri, and they have no idea what happened to her. And then we have this young lady. She went missing from Alabama in 1982. She was five foot three, strawberry blonde hair. You can pause this and read it. Hazel eyes. She was arrested in 1982 and transferred to Searcy's Hospital in Mount Vernon, Alabama. This is the last known contact with her. It is believed for some time that the hospital and or other law enforcement personnel had taken measures to list her as missing. However, family members recently found that this was not the case. So she wasn't even listed as missing. So if you have a family member or a loved one that went missing check NamUs make sure they've been put in NamUs make sure the investigators have put them in NamUs and that they've been reported as missing if not see if you can't get them put on the Doe Network or the Charlie Project or both I would put them everywhere you could um, let's see we have this young lady she went missing in 1982 from Mobile Alabama Height unknown. 
brown shoulder length hair. You can see how it looks so light colored here and darker in the other pictures. Does those other pictures just, when I click on this, they just disappear. Let me refresh it so it's still there. Okay, 120 to 150 pounds. She was last seen April 1982 at her apartment. Her car was found abandoned on Todd Acres Road near Rattlesnake Bayou. Her personal belongings were found inside of the car. In September 1982, Robert Gilchrist was charged with capital murder. His girlfriend testified in court that he told her he and Christina drove to a wooded area. He hit her in the head with a stick and buried her body. He was convicted, but it was later, later overturned. He was convicted a second time in 1989. Police have repeatedly searched the swampy area where the car was found, but have not located her remains. That is so sad. Why would somebody do that? Then we have this young girl. 18 years old, Alabama, went missing January 1981. She was 5 foot 4 to 5 foot 7. So beautiful. I guess that's her as a child. Um, brown hair, blue eyes. She's been missing since 1981, and there's no other information there. Uh, this young lady, she went missing from Cocoa Beach, Florida. Look at all the pictures. 5 foot 4, 18 years old. Strawberry blonde, shoulder length hair. Missing July 1983. Blue denim skirt, light blue shirt with flower appliques. I don't think I'm saying that right. On the shoulder, flip flops, carried a gray purse. A teen model who specialized in posing for swimsuit ads and played parts in Scarface and Spring Break left her home barefoot and without money. Her resume lists Miss Teen Florida and Miss Sun and Surf, titles among other accomplishments. She drove away with a male friend who later told police he left her outside a Cocoa Beach bank after an argument. Argument part is a bad sign. Wow. And then we have this young lady who went missing from Florida, and she was five foot four and went missing May 19th, 1983. Five foot four, 110 pounds, brown hair, blue eyes. Last seen on C Road, driving a red 1977 Toyota Celica. She had visited her boyfriend. At 17.30, which is 5.30, May 23rd, the car was discovered at a deserted area north of Royal Palm Beach at 110th Avenue on the north side of the Am Canal. The vehicle had struck a tree and was stuck. The battery had been removed from the vehicle. Adler left her purse and some belongings in the vehicle. There was also a sheet of paper with directions in her handwriting to find C Road. Oh... And they don't know what happened to her. So if you have any information about any of these missing persons, please contact authorities and let them know. I would write it all down. And then I would probably email a detective and CC somebody at the police department and somebody at the sheriff's department. That way you know that there's two or three people reading it. And so that somebody's going to do something with the in information because they'll hold each other accountable, hopefully. And I would make sure I contacted them with any information that you have. And if, like I said, if you know what happened to any of these missing people or if you know who any of these Jane Doe's are, please contact authorities and let them know. Don't forget to pray for their families and their loved ones. Feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.